Hello, good people of the world. My name is Krasana. If you are new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you are not new here, welcome back friends and family. And if you are not subscribed, but you keep coming back, hit the subscribe button. Commit to me. I've said it before, just do it. I promise, I won't let you down. Today we are going to be painting this little chest right here. It is for one of my clients and they want kind of a sea glass green feel to it with a little bit of blending. We are going to be using Purico today and we're gonna be using her green line. And also she just came out with a bio stripper right here. So an eco paint stripper. And I am going to test it on the top of this and see if we can get it to pull off the finish because we are going to be refinishing the top. And that's really it guys. We're going to be playing around with some paint and using Puri Coat and I hope you guys stick around for it. So if you wanna see me do that, then stay here. First thing I did was pull out my Pure Eco's Eco Paint Stripper. So the directions go as you wanna put a thick layer on and then you wanna cover it with plastic and let it sit for 15 minutes and then take that plastic off and scrape it. So that's what I did. I made sure that there was a thick layer of it on here. It has a nice kind of citrusy smell. It's not nasty. Um, you know, I wore gloves because I always wear safety stuff, but this also has a soap and water cleanup. It doesn't have a mineral spirits cleanup, which is really nice as well. So I'm going to cover it with plastic. We're going to let it sit for 15 minutes. I am going to use a metal paint scraper on this just to see how much we can get off. You can see right there, some of it came off on the plastic and I'm taking my paint scraper and it is coming off. I mean, there's a lot of gunk coming off of here. I did repeat this process twice, so I just didn't show it on camera because I'm sure that you guys get the gist of it. Once I was done with my second layer or my second round of stripping the top of this, I went in with a cleaner and I cleaned it with the soap and water. I did allow it to sit for 24 hours before I did the stain just because I wanted to make sure that the top was fully dry. The cleaner I used on this was the Green Ease Finishing Cleaner. And so you've seen me use it before. My last video, I used it strictly on the piece. So after I was done stripping it with Purico's Eco Stripper, I went in with Green Ease and just cleaned the rest of it off. I also went over it with water after I went over it with the soap and water mixture, just because I wanted to make sure I got any residue off. I am going to clean the piece with Purico's Lemon Myrtle Cleaner. This is their brush and furniture cleaner. I put warm water in a bucket and I put about four pumps of it in there and I cleaned the entire piece with this. Once this piece is dry, I'm gonna take a 120 grit sanding pad. I'm just taking one of Purico sanding pads and I'm going to go over this piece. I'm not trying to get crazy with it. I'm just trying to knock the shine off and give this a little bit of tooth. So that way when we do our blocking primer, it will adhere a lot nicer. Once I'm done sanding the entire piece down, I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth and I'm going to get rid of all the excess dust on here. Because I'm gonna be using lighter colors and this wood is definitely a bleeder. I'm gonna use Purico's base and blocker in the white. So I'm gonna apply two coats on this entire piece and I'm gonna allow it to sit overnight just so that it can lock in everything. And that way it blocks all the tannins and does all the good things that it's supposed to do before we go in with any color.
it has been 24 hours and we're gonna go in and do the base coat. If you haven't noticed, the top of this little chest is dry as well. So it'll be ready for stain. We are going to do two layers of a base coat and this color is called Meadow. It is a really nice soft green color, almost like a sage green if I had to really give it a description. And so we're gonna put this on the piece, again, two coats on this entire piece. There are two layers on here and they are completely dry. So we're gonna go in and blend. And I have a mister bottle because this is a clay and chalk mix, it's going to dry fairly fast and you wanna keep the area misted and you want moisture so that these paints can move and blend together. So we're going to do a thin layer of meadow on here to kind of just give it some moisture, extra moisture for the other colors to blend into. Then I'm gonna take the color called Myrtle. It is a darker green color, but it's very, very similar to this. So this is gonna be a very subtle blend. I think that this would be really good for a beginner. If you use colors that are very similar, it gives you the confidence to know the technique. It may not be super dramatic, but at least you kind of hone in on that technique and it's really kind of foolproof. So we're going to take Myrtle and I'm going to outline all the areas where I want some shading first, and then I'm going to mist it. Again, remember, we wanna keep it misted. The center there, I put a little bit, a layer of meadow, and then I'm going to do seashell, which is a lighter kind of warm white in all of the areas where I want a highlighting. So the center in the middle of Myrtle, and then I'm gonna mist it and I am taking my caddy brush, which you guys have seen me use before, and I am going to go in all different directions, vertical, horizontal, I'm gonna do some circles and we are going to just blend and soften all these colors together. do want to distress this and bring out some of the layers so I am going to take my 3x4 electric ray by surf prep and use a fine 10 millimeter pad and go over this entire piece what this is going to do is smooth out all the paint and it is going to allow me to slightly distress this piece the top is totally dry and it was ready for some stain so this is a water-based stain the color is walnut this is by Ligno color which is a German brand I just ordered this online all you're going to do is you're going to take it, I, I put it in a paper plate and I'm using a microfiber cloth and I'm just rubbing it going with the grain on the piece. It's really easy to use. There's no smell. It's soaked right in. It's actually really, I, I really enjoyed using it. Once the top was dry, I ended up sealing the entire piece, the top and the body with Purico's matte sealer. I'm gonna use one of the little green sponges and I'm going to take that and use that to seal the entire body and the entire top.
this next part, this transfer was an afterthought. I started looking at the piece and thought, this is super plain. I need something in these panels because you guys know I like to just add character. So I am using Redesign with Prima's decor transfer, the golden rod florals. Now, typically when you apply these, you apply them directly to the paint and then you seal over them. But I had a matte sealer on here and I went ahead and just fit fit it to the piece, these little panels, cut it to the piece. I'm going to take it away from the sep the protective backing. I'm gonna put it on there. We're gonna burnish it with our hand and we are going to apply it. Now, I did not show you guys the step after. I guess maybe I just forgot to press play on my camera, but you do need to seal this after. So even though this entire piece is sealed, I still needed to go in again and seal just the area with the transfer, which I did. I just didn't show it to you. So make sure that you are sealing your transfer as well. But you can apply this over a sealer. You can apply it directly to ch the paint. It is better if you apply it directly to the paint, but it's not the end all be all if you decide to change your mind later, which I'm gonna show you. So all I'm doing is I burnished it really well with my hands. I'm taking the burnishing stick, gonna burnish it, and then we're going to transfer it over. Once I am done transferring it over, I always take a microfiber cloth and I always rub it and burnish it even more. And I also burnish it with my hands. So someone had asked me, how do you get rid of the halo? You burnish, 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 burnish. <laughs> how many times can I say that word? All right, everybody, this piece is done. This video is done. I hope you enjoyed that. It was kind of a little simple. It was a very, very subtle blend because the colors were very similar. So just a little bit of shading around here. And then we did some distressing. We redid the top. Everything I use will be in the description below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Tell everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. All right, everybody. Have an amazing weekend, and we'll see you later. Say bye. I love you. Bye. I love you, too. Are you saying I love you to me or to them? Who are you saying I love you to? Yeah. To them. Oh, okay. Well, Lane says he loves you guys. Oh, hi, Cannon. All right, guys. Have an amazing weekend.